Uh, we have the meta knowledge that gives the knowledge that we can get that information back when we need it. And I think it's a meta knowledge that it is correctly, if you like, in the driving seat. Yeah, so I don't think it's really a mistake. I think, you know, for the brain in its normal ecological context, it doesn't really matter whether the information is stored in the head or stored somewhere else, just as long as the brain knows what information is there and what to do to get it when it needs it. Uh, some information is in memory, some stuff is elsewhere. <laughs> Roboticists and psychologists have known this for a while. Rodney Brooks here with one of his robots, a young, young Rodney there. The world is its own best model, so you know, don't try and get all the information into your robots, leave as much in the world as you can. <laughs> um, this is Kevin O'Reilly's <laughs> external memory. So I think this is true of knowing. So think about your feeling that you know what month this is. I bet that before I asked you this question, you would have said, I know what month this is, you know? But it's not because you're walking around the world consciously rehearsing it. October, 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 October. Your correct feeling that you know what month it is is because you meta know that this is the kind of thing you know and that you can get back by a step of biological retrieval if you need it. I think that's perfectly analogous to the getting back by uh, non-biological retrieval. So here's an anecdote. You say things like this. Do you know the time? You'll say, yes. And then you look at your watch. You don't say, no. do you know the time? No. Look at your watch. You say, oh, you know, it's anecdotal, but I think there's, there's truth in this. We, uh, we do in that sense. We command time. <laughs> at least when your watch is working. But you know, you only command the other stuff when your brain's working. <laughs> so, Importantly, but again, this is something that I won't linger on today, but this is what I've been working on quite a lot over the last few years. Um, I think a lot of our best <coughs> loops into the world, just like a lot of our best loops inside the brain, are much fancier than these simple access retrieve loops. So access retrieve, I think, makes a point, and I think it will do the work for today. Um, but I think that there are, there are fancier and more interesting cases too. Cases like gesturing while you talk, a kind of active looping out into the body, there's a bunch of interesting work um, excuse me, that, uh, that I think shows, or at least pretty well suggests, whether it, whether it completely shows it or not is up for grabs, but it at least suggests that gesturing is part of the process of thinking, not just a sort of offshoot. So the results show that if you impede people from gesturing while they try to explain um, a piece of problem solving, they actually solve the problem worse than they would otherwise. Or think of more obvious cases like scribbling while you think, looping just into a bit of passive media. But we know that that really helps our thinking a lot. Um, we think differently when we're able to scribble while we think. 